Happy Thursday, artists. This is Beth Cooper. Today we are working on our Thursday drawing. We started on Monday with the backgrounds with mountains and trees. Tuesday we worked on things that we're going to need around camp when we're camping. And Wednesday we did critters. So today, Thursday, we're going to probably do the most difficult of the drawings and uh, things that we are going to need around camp. Uh, but I, I save these to the end because these take a little bit longer. All right. And we're going to start with a camping chair because of course you need something to sit in. And we're gonna start with some guidelines that you wanna draw very lightly because we're gonna erase those. Just like we did up here with the tent where we had a triangular prism, we are going to draw some elements that we're gonna erase later on. So we're gonna start at the very bottom and we're gonna draw a diagonal. Actually, before we draw the diagonal, we're gonna draw some vertical lines that are gonna help us to determine where the points on the diagonal are going to go, okay? So this diagonal is going to go from here, diagonally down to here. There's one diamond, okay? And then move up and use these same vertical lines to draw another diamond that looks just like it up here, okay? Then we're going to go and create the back of our chair. We're gonna, we're gonna bleed over a little bit into Wednesday's section. The back of the chair, draw two lines that go straight up like this, and then we're gonna stay parallel with this line and create the back of our chair that looks like this. Notice I went a little bit too high on that one side. I can erase that. It's always a good time when you're working in pencil to get it just the way you want it. Then we have to create the legs of the chair. And so these points are gonna help us to determine where the legs of the chair go. So I'm going to draw from this corner, I'm going to do two X's. I'm gonna do one from here to here, and here to here, and then we're gonna do them on the back as well, okay? So from this corner, from the upper left-hand corner, you're gonna draw down to the diagonal, diagonally down to the diamond that's below it, and then go from the upper right corner diagonally down to the line at the bottom. Now these are going to be poles, so you can draw these as thick as you want to. Like that. That creates the front of our chair. Then we're going to do the same thing on the back of the chair, but this is our seat. So we don't really want to draw very darkly in here because we don't want to have to erase that too much. Okay, and again, we're going to go from that upper left-hand corner of this square that we've created down to this bottom right-hand corner. And I'm just going to draw my pencil very lightly all the way through like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, go from the upper right-hand corner down to that bottom left-hand corner like that. Now I know this is complicated. This is kind of sophisticated 3D stuff. And if it takes you a while to figure it out, please back up and try it again. It's okay if it takes you a little while to do that, but look what you've created. You've created a camp chair that looks three-dimensional. Now, in order to make the table, we're going to just kind of fudge this one a little bit. We're gonna do an oval for the tabletop. My ovals always seem to have one side that's bigger than the other. And then we're just going to do an X for the legs. Okay? In reality, it wouldn't stand on its own, but that's okay. Create that X for your legs. Like that. Okay? And then the last thing we need, of course, is our campfire. And I wanted to leave enough time to do this. Uh, again, we're going to start with a guideline. We're going to create the fire ring so that we make sure that our fire is safe. We're going to create an oval. And that's where our stones are going to go around. But before we do the stones, we're going to put the logs and the fire in the middle. So the logs are just rectangles to create a kind of a teepee effect. We're going to do like this. Do a rectangle here, and then another one that overlaps, do a rectangle here, and then another one that overlaps, do a rectangle here, like that. Now when we go back in and we draw the details, we can add a little bit more texture and roughness to them so they look more like logs, because right now I know that they don't look like logs. And in order to make the flames, we are going to make some upside down teardrop shapes that overlap this. 
And you can do the same thing on the inside. You know, the flames towards the inside are hotter and brighter than the ones on the outside. Very simple fire. Now, in order to make our fire ring, then we're gonna create ovals. The ones in the back are gonna be a little bit smaller than the ones that come around the front. Kind of looks like a string of pearls, something that Wilma Flintstone would enjoy wearing, like this. And again, when we go back with our pen, we can add more detail if we want to. But essentially, that's our campfire. So let's go ahead and take our pen and we'll ink in all of these together. Remember, now you're only wanting to ink in those lines that you need, not the guidelines that we use to create this. So I'm gonna start over here and draw on the back of my seat and the chair of my seat and the legs for my seat. Same thing on the back legs. Look at what we've created. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Then we're just gonna do an oval for our tabletop. And actually, instead of drawing through, I can make it look like this leg is going behind. And then we're gonna come over here to our campfire. I said we'd add a little bit more detail to it. These, rock, these logs should have a little bit of a wavy line or a zigzag line to make them look like they're log-like. Actually, the one in the middle is the one that I'm going to say is on top. So I'm going to draw that one like this and do the same thing over on this side. Maybe this has a little branch that's coming off the side and if you wanted to you could go back in and add a little bit of texture again these are just wavy lines to make it look like they've got a little bit of bark on them okay and because just like with our um, our um, dragonfly our flames are transparent you can see through them we don't have to worry about the overlapping lines I think it's prettier when you leave those on there all of those sort of um, teardrop shapes. Okay, now for the, the rocks that go all around it, again, we're just gonna add some wavy lines like this, make them look a little bit more rocky instead of just ovals. our campfire. Now go back with your eraser and erase out anything that you don't need. Clean up your lines. set. We have all of the items that we need, all of these elements that we're going to use to create our one scene of camping. So we've got our campsite with our uh, fire and our chair. We've got the critters that we're going to draw in. We've got all of those objects that we need to haul in with us. And then we've got our mountains and our trees in the background. So for Friday, we'll put all of these together into one complete scene on the opposite page. I hope you'll join us then.